you can imagine like your own personal robot buddy uh, that is uh, a great friend, but also takes care of uh, your house, will we'll clean your house, will mow the lawn, uh, will walk the dog, uh, will teach your kids, uh, will we'll babysit, um, and, and, and will also, also enable the production of goods and services. Okay, welcome to Tesla Car World. So what do you think about having a humanoid robot that cleans your house, mows your lawn, does your laundry, hauls stuff around, and even goes shopping for you? Sounds pretty awesome, right? Especially on weekends. No one wants to spend their precious time off drowning in chores. It's boring. That's exactly why Elon Musk is making the Tesla bot. And let's be real, this is an even bigger deal than electric cars. In fact, Tesla bot could be a money printing machine if it hits mass production next year. Unlike Tesla EVs, which mostly just sit in parking lots all day, these bots will actually be working. Better yet, making you money by handling various tasks. Of course, Musk himself admits that Optimus will still have a few bugs. But how bad are these glitches? Is it still safe even if things go wrong? Well, let's find out right now. Please be nice to the Optimus robots. So you'll be able to walk right up to them and... Um, They'll serve drinks at the bar. When people hear humanoid robot, a lot of us, including yours truly, imagine a bright futuristic world where robots handle all the tough, dangerous, or just plain boring tasks we don't want to deal with. We mean, who hasn't daydreamed about having a robot that cooks, does the dishes, and takes care of chores? Sounds like a dream, right? But at the same time, plenty of people are freaking out, worrying that these machines will steal human jobs, or worse, take over the world and turn us into their servants, just like in every sci-fi movie we've ever watched. And then, there's the rest of us who think humanoid robots are just clunky, slow, and borderline ridiculous. Basically, a pile of overpriced scrap metal struggling to walk straight. People joke about them walking like Biden or a drunk guy trying to find his way home. Honestly, that's not entirely wrong. Most humanoid robots today still struggle to prove they're actually useful in real life. In fact, some of them look so awkward that it's hard not to be a little skeptical. But have you noticed something? Over the past two years, things have changed. Big time. More than just small improvements, we're talking next-level advancements. Two years ago, it was pretty much just Tesla bot and Boston Dynamics Atlas battling it out. But now... We're convinced this isn't just a two-horse race anymore. It's turned into an all-out tech war, with dozens of heavy hitters from North America to China jumping in. To be fair, we're not here to say that Tesla has the best or most advanced robot out there. But what we do believe is that Tesla Optimus has the most potential when it comes to actually making a difference in people's lives. At the same time, it's also one of the most accessible humanoid robots out there, priced competitively enough to make owning one a real possibility for more people than ever before. You should be able to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. Most humanoid robots today still struggle to fit into the real world, mainly because they're not mass-produced. We often see sensational news about a new robot from some company impressing us with amazing tasks and moves. But then, after a while, these robots just fade away, as if they never existed. This is the common reality of humanoid robotics, and it's why many people believe they're just fancy prototypes in labs that will never make it into real life. However, Tesla changed the game completely. Not only are they mass-producing humanoid robots, but they also brought 50 Optimus bots to a major event where attendees could actually see and interact with them in person. The funny part, the event was originally meant to launch Cybercab Tesla's new, fully autonomous robotaxi. But guess what? The spotlight was stolen by the robots. People gathered around Optimus, not the car, showing that Tesla bot is not just another hype. It's breaking the stereotype that humanoid robots are useless or boring. And Optimus? It's already proving it can handle a bunch of tasks you'd actually want help with. Yeah, it can receive and inspect packages, serve drinks, fold clothes, charge your EV, clean the kitchen, water your plants, carry heavy stuff, play games with your family, dance, and even answer all your questions. And here's the kicker. Tesla did all this in less than two years. Their progress is so impressive that even Boston Dynamics, one of their biggest competitors, had to give them props. 
the Tesla team is, are making uh, great progress uh, in one year building uh, a couple of machines you know, from scratch. You know, that's remarkable. Uh, they're shining a spotlight on the importance of this technology, which we've been arguing for 30 years. So I think that only helps us. Yeah. Recent advancements in AI have allowed robots to achieve some truly incredible capabilities in just a few years. To put it simply, AI is making robots smarter. And in return, humanoid robots are the ones bringing AI into the real world. It's like this. AI, like ChatGPT, can give you a great recipe, but it's not exactly going to roll up its sleeves and cook dinner for you. You're still on your own in the kitchen. But imagine if that recipe was in the brain of a humanoid robot like Optimus. Now things would be a whole lot different. It could walk right into the kitchen and cook everything from breakfast to dinner. Elon Musk made it clear that what sets Tesla bot apart from all other humanoid robots is its brain. Tesla doesn't just have a typical robot brain, they've got a real functional brain inside their robots. It's got the, it's got the real world AI, so Tesla's the leader in real world AI. Um, what we learned from the car, we translate to, to the Optimus robot. Um, and we also trans take the, our expertise in electric motors, in batteries, power electronics, uh, structural design, and then another major important thing is that we're very good at manufacturing. And Tesla has some important missing ingredients that, that others don't have, which is our, our robot has a real brain. Um, you know, it's like the Wizard of Oz. In the past two years, Tesla has proven it's not just good at making EVs, but also leading the way in real-world AI. They've developed an AI system capable of controlling self-driving cars, which, as Elon Musk puts it, is basically a robot on wheels. Now they're just adding legs to it. And that's how Optimus came to life. By leveraging resources already available from EVs like batteries, drive systems, full self-driving software, and gearboxes, they've been able to produce robots at a lower cost than most of their competitors. However, there's one truth that can't be ignored. Producing millions of Optimus robots isn't exactly an easy task in the early stages, even though Tesla has many of the components already in-house. But making a humanoid robot is a whole different ball game from building an electric car. Fitting all these components into something human-sized has to be incredibly efficient. Or you'll end up with a clunky robot, or worse, a robot that moves more awkwardly than Joe Biden. Tesla plans to roll out Optimus next year, and Elon Musk has confirmed that production will start with 5,000 robots, meaning about 100 robots per week. While not a huge number, it's a sign that Tesla has officially kicked off large-scale production. What's impressive is that Tesla is a company capable of ramping up production at an astonishing pace. Think back to Cybertruck. At the start of last year, Tesla was producing just a few hundred units per week, but by the end of the year, they were cranking out 3,000 per week. And let's not forget, the Cybertruck is no easy vehicle to produce. If they can do that with Cybertruck, there's no reason they can't apply the same strategy to Optimus. Elon Musk has shared that by 2026, Optimus production could reach anywhere from 50,000 to 100,000 units, and by 2027, that number could skyrocket to 1 million. It sounds like a crazy plan, and we're not entirely sure if it will happen. Musk is known for his overly optimistic projections, so if those numbers seem a bit flashy, we wouldn't be too surprised. But one thing's for sure, Tesla's production rate is going to soar next year, and we're willing to bet on it. But then, assuming things go well, we, we'll, we'll 10x that, that output next year. So we'll aim to do maybe 50 to 100,000 ro uh, humanoid robots next year, and then 10x it again the following year. It's like 500,000 robots in three years. One of the standout features of Optimus is its ability to understand human expressions and body language. Optimus can recognize human intent through gestures, like when someone points or gives a signal. This makes interactions more seamless, as it reduces the need for verbal communication, especially helpful for users who might have difficulty speaking. They can still use gestures to make requests or give commands to the Tesla bot. Yeah, you'll be able to customize the personality, customize the voice, um, and, and really kind of the robot will kind of get to know you as well and know your preferences. You won't even have to say things because it'll just kind of understand you. It can watch a video of something like a person and and then learn just by looking at that video and, and do that task. Oh my God, we've seriously imagined all sorts of scenarios. 
if Optimus could actually understand human emotions. Just picture this. You point at the fridge, and it immediately brings you a beer. Or if you rub your stomach, it knows you're hungry. Even crazier, if you act tired, it'll automatically come over and give you a massage. How amazing would that be, right? Elon Musk emphasized that Optimus is smart enough to perform tasks just by watching a video without needing direct programming. So what if you show it a cooking video or a piano performance, maybe even a magic trick? Yeah, it could learn from that. Of course, it might be a bit clumsy at first because it needs to repeat those actions a few times to gather enough data. But this is a perfect example of AI learning, specifically using a deep learning approach. So that, you know, because um, it's uh, probably have a few bugs, but, uh, but it's, it's going to be very cool. Um, you definitely, you'll want to invite your friends over and say, check this out. Of course, it's going to be tough for a new product like Optimus to be perfect right from the start, especially with a product that requires real-world user experiences. That's why Elon Musk has openly admitted that Optimus will have a few bugs. So what kind of issues could arise? One potential problem is misunderstanding commands. The robot might not always recognize natural human speech correctly. Imagine you ask it to grab food and it brings you an empty plate instead. Yeah, something like that. Since Optimus relies on an internet connection, disruptions or connectivity issues are another potential problem. If the connection fails, the robot might not be able to access its system's data, which could cause it to malfunction. Additionally, stairs could be tricky for Optimus. While it can go up and down stairs, this remains a huge challenge. It requires precise calculation and perfect balance with each step. Otherwise, the robot could trip or fall. So, it's definitely a work in progress. All these bugs are expected to improve over time, thanks to software updates and ongoing technical enhancements. Elon Musk has emphasized that Optimus will even have the ability to self-correct while it's operating. A perfect example of this is when the Tesla bot dropped a battery cell from its tray. It immediately reorganized everything without human intervention. If you want to have a humanoid robot that can um, do things that a human can do, it's actually it's a, it's a very high bar. So our, our new arm has 22 degrees of freedom instead of 11. Yeah. The hand might be, it might be close to half of all the engineering in, the, in, in Optimus. From an electromechanical standpoint, the hand is probably r roughly half of the engineering. While Tesla's competitors are mostly focused on AI movement speed and sometimes awkward looking motions, Elon Musk has emphasized the crucial role of hands in the Optimus humanoid robot. He even stated that nearly half of the electromechanical engineering work in its development went into designing its hands. This is a huge leap toward recreating human dexterity in robots, allowing them to perform precise tasks like picking up a cup, folding clothes, or even playing the piano. It's not just a technical challenge, but also a game changer for the future of humanoid robots in everyday life and industrial production. The new generation of Optimus comes equipped with 22 degrees of freedom in its hands and forearms, double the 11 degrees of freedom in the previous version. According to Elon Musk, Tesla engineers initially tried packing a lot of actuators directly into the hand to maximize strength, but this made the hand bulky and unnatural. So instead, they moved most of the actuators up to the forearm. What's really noteworthy is that most other humanoid robots only have hands with five to six degrees of freedom, and many don't even have a full set of five fingers. Instead of designing hands that mimic human anatomy, many robots use two or three fingers or claw-like pincers for gripping objects, which severely limits their dexterity. Optimus, on the other hand, is built with incredibly detailed and lifelike hands, featuring all five fingers with realistic differences in length, just like a human hand. Elon Musk specifically highlighted that. And your, your dexterity is actually better if your fingers are of different, different length. Like there's a reason we've got a little finger. Like why not have a little finger that's bigger? Yeah. Because it allows you to do fine. This level of detail in Optimus's design ensures that the robot can not only perform strong, forceful tasks, but also handle delicate, precise work just like a human. The human hand is one of the most intricate mechanical structures ever created by nature, with 27 degrees of freedom. It allows us to perform a wide range of movements, from gripping, squeezing, and pulling, to writing, drawing, and playing musical instruments. That's why replicating the human hand in a robot is such a massive challenge. 
It's not just about making it look like a human hand. It also has to function accurately and responsively across various real-world environments. The new Optimus 22-degree of freedom hand and forearm is now in production. Um, and it's learning to walk and catch balls. It's pretty cool. I mean, I mean look, that's where we came from. It's wild. So in a very short period of time, uh, Optimus has gone from being uh, an idea to the most sophisticated humanoid robot on Earth. Overall, Optimus's hand isn't just another mechanical component. It's a testament to groundbreaking advancements in robotics. Doubling its degrees of freedom allows it to move beyond just basic tasks and take on more complex operations. If Elon Musk's vision becomes reality, Optimus could become an indispensable part of daily life, something straight out of Star Wars like C-3PO and R2-D2. In the future, we might see humanoid robots like Optimus assisting with household chores, elderly care, or even highly precise jobs in medicine and scientific research. With its potential to replace or assist humans in repetitive, dangerous, or high-precision tasks, Optimus is shaping up to be one of the most highly anticipated robots worldwide. If Tesla successfully commercializes Optimus, it could completely transform the way we work and live. Imagine a future where robots handle repetitive and physically demanding tasks, from factory work and household chores to elderly care and even operating in hazardous environments. This wouldn't just reduce labor costs, it would boost productivity and improve overall quality of life. On a larger scale, Optimus isn't just an advanced piece of technology, it could become a major revenue driver for Tesla. As Elon Musk has hinted, it has the potential to turn Tesla into a $25 trillion company. Optimus, I think, is, is a, a 25, a, literally $25 trillion market cap situation. So. Tesla's EVs might not be the thing that gets the company to a $25 trillion valuation, but Optimus just might. When it comes to EVs, people have plenty of choices. Tesla isn't the only game in town. You could go with BYD, GM, Xpeng, Ford, Volkswagen. Yeah, many options. But if Tesla rolls out humanoid robots, yeah, we're pretty sure your only choice is going to be the Tesla bot because, well, there won't be another option. If Optimus actually delivers, it could kickstart an entirely new market, personal and industrial robots. And with Tesla's expertise in AI, software, and large-scale manufacturing, they could dominate this space just like they did with EVs. On top of that, Optimus isn't just about making cool robots. It's about Tesla flexing as a next-level tech company, moving way beyond just making cars. That's not just going to pull in more investors, but also cement the idea that Musk's AI-driven future isn't just a wild sci-fi dream. It's actually happening.